Presenting the movers and graduates of batch 2020-2021.
Here are the faculty and staff of Tomas Kabili Central School, along with the local government unit and Department of Education officials.
kiniw Pelas ng silanganan Alam ng puso Sa dibdib mo'y buhay Lupang hinirang Duyan ka ng magiging Sa manlulupid Di ka pa sisihil Sa dagat at bundok Sa simoy at sa langit Mong bugaw May dilagang tula at awit Sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng watawa Mo'y tagumpay na nagniningning Ang bituin na araw niya Kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng araw ng walhati pagsinta Buhay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pag may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Audo billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ar rahmanir rahim malik yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdinas siratal mustaqim siratal ladina an'amta alaihim ghairil maghdubi alaihim waladdallin amin allahumma rabbana atina fid dunya hasanah wa fil akhirati hasanah wa qina azaban nar Wadilah jannah tama al abraria asis ya gopar ya rabbal alami. Subhanak rabbi ka amaya sipul. Wassalam ala al mursalin. Walhamdulillah rabbil alamin. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most loving heavenly Father, we praise and glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. We are grateful that despite the crisis we are facing right now, we are here today, celebrating the momentous event in our lives. Bless, Lord God, those who are in pain, those who are suffering, and those who are in difficult situations. Continue to guide and protect us, Lord, our parents, teachers, and to all frontliners, that we may live our lives according to your will. All this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Sulung Edo Kalidad Dap Ed Iligan. Yon Jess, Amihan Al Mindanao, Philippines, Mabuhay. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for moving up and graduation of Tomas Kabili Center School for school year 2020-2021. Composed of 106 boys and 84 girls with a total of 190 movers and 104 boys and 88 girls with a total of 192 candidates for graduation. I hereby petition the Office of West One Public Schools District Supervisor, Analita M. La Corteza, Doctor of Education, to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. As Public Schools District Supervisor of West One District, after careful scrutiny of the requirements submitted in my office, I have found that the learners have completed the requirements for moving up in graduation of Tomas Kabili Central School. I therefore certify that these 190 candidates for moving up and 192 candidates for graduation have fully satisfied the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Roy Angelo E. Gaso, they now await your confirmation. This is Roy Angelo E. Gaso, your Schools Division Superintendent. True to our commitment, basta illegal number one, basta illegal walang iwanan. Deep in illegal is proud of you. Hence, by virtue of the authority vested in me and upon the presentation of your school head and certification of your supervisor that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements set by the Department of Education for elementary curriculum. I hereby confirm you, graduates, this school year 2020-2021. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the movers and graduates of Tomas Kabili Central School. Kindergarten Kapili Abarkis Luis Gabriel B. Abne Christ Monin L. Algar Rinsnil P. Aratok Sulaiman M. Asis Alex Raymar A. Bado Kinan M. Basmayor EJ M. Abunka Jaden G. Kagalawan Joshua N. Kanyeti Esiboy T. Kanoy Ronnie Jr. G. Kantela Carl Anthony T. Madid Muhammad Hisam M. Mahosay Joseph M. Ombayan Harrell Lester M. Palispo Shan Cry C. Palobon Kurt Danish. Santos Alejandro Jr. B. Agini Diesha Drizel G. Balanay Novi Angela H. Barinian Crystal May D. Tabongka Maria Samantha M. Tatailo 
देन केंद्र है अबीब सिटी अलीसा एस ओमापुन क्रिस्टिन फेन एफ ओमाविल क्रिस्टिल इन ई मुक्सारा रोस्टी आ एल नागा सलमा रनिया एक्सप्रेस रूल नियस प्रिंसेस एम ओबाबो कैथरीना जी यू पाबेलिक ब्रेना कसंद्रा पिलवेरा जी एप्रिल डी सरिगिदा जाना एस Tamparuk Jisame R Valero Lacey Nicole B Ender Garden Snow White Amamampang Randall B Basi is a game Bernardo Albert Knowing Q. Kasia Mark Julian. Dila Alzada Christoph Josh P. Diktahan Kaito J. L. Ditinki Ashraf L. Ditinki Ashraf L. Magungan Bensudahis L. Malano Kai Lawrence J. Mangadang Nathaniel M. Salvador Jerry and Nathan Watimar Anthony Abbas Sabrine Altaira A Aringino Hermana Alexa M Bakwa Lion B Baunto Simi Hania M Kabanda Yana B Kabarubias Princess Aneka A Katienza Athena Katilok Destiny Dreams D Omawan Jazel S. Liama Sophia Grace N. Mantikaya Nurhasmin L. Monyo Jehan S. Morales Irene B. S. Morillo Ashanti Giselle A. 
Pasanteng Tamina Pearl Key. Sabadokya John Princess S. Sari Lishana Wanja D. Tarosa Mary Lou T. Kindergarten Rapunzel Abanil Lincoln A Pachola Abreno B Barula Charles Prince Kyle C Boko Prince Nathan J Katienza Matthew Quarrel Enero Y. Kaiser B. Gajano Alexander C. Gayon PJ C. Mabato Fred Joshua A. Navidad Alexander S. Pacho Rang B Pasig Lucas Van Delarios M Portanio Arben S Crueles Chan Bolet G Sunny Selmer Jefferson B So the value Johan Card E. Abin Richelin C. Alicanti Andrea S. Arano Precious Naomi S. Balukin Nerros B. Jilaika M. Guanapi Jemery H. Kabatid Rachel B. Kabatingan Chelsea G. Kalaya Misha L. Siyon G. Kindergarten Dora Banoy Daniel T Barcelona Adrian Rafael P 
Bunokan can end. Kai Jan Michael D. Kalumpang Shan Gabriel D. Corpo Cyril L. The Hindu Melloid Kyle C. He needs Ethan Jell. Boalisa Leister L. Anuba Stanley P. Lapis Chen O. Lapis Glen O. Lives in Tristan Rohel L. Parami Daniel M. Paro Jan Marco D. Partoma Romel T. Rakilis Shan April D. Rico Liam E. Shakor Jan Patrick M. Simpruta Anton Luis M. Tanyedo Jan Robert P. Tugunun Warren A. Termins Rain Kirby S. Aguam City Alexa V. Kanyada Johanna T. Wambo Jillian Kate E. Daidai Chanel P. Magtuba Janela L. Maratas Emerald Grace B. Munkada Liana Sofia M. Monterdi Ayan Amara. Pagalan Ray Eliza B. Alanya Aldea L. Rinoticado Julian S. Sagadutia Aldea Saint T. Sapila Princess Jenny Rose D. Saya Rosemary Jade B. Sinfruta Kisha Ray Swan Nolan May Dio Aya Grace S
Francisco Jaimar Chay. Bumagod John Michael T. Leoness Jared S. Lingasa Darwin R. Logro Lito Jr. D. Makud Anwar Jr. D. Mahadas Chrislan G. D. Marila Sus S. Mati Michael. Mati Miguel. Navarro Gerald C. Pao Jim Ross S. Bishaw Jan G. Politisima Zak Park B. E. Ostrano James Park L. Uno Zak Clyde D. Kia Howdy L. Sabadukia Man Andrew. Watimar Denver J. S. Balua Kiera S. Boniel Carla. Bughao Risa B. Cantila Catherine Nicole T. Pumagbon Ella C. Laurente Real J. R. Retiro Aisa J. Grade 6 Bird Abdul Hamid Nusair H. T. Baklai Vance Gabriel B. Tabasa John Carl T. Kagalawan Miguel James L. Kusido Carl Dian A. And Dino Gilbert C. Lopez Joseph Vincent B. Matigas Cleo Daniel S. Mauna David Ryan N. Namukatka Jankeyan D. Palarao Camp Brian A. Ponce and Ryan James A. Sumoso Zaski T. Usman Kuzam A. Alam Shaliha M. Aquil Lea Label Marie C. Bashir Johaira U. Bituon Abre Sarina D. Bukai City Fatma M. Tabangay Jessica B. Tatahan Maris R. Digresya Kanchana Karel E. Francisco Ima I. R.
Giganto Zarin Nicole G. Gomez Temple Faith G. The Sky Chrysler L. Makilan Raquel Bernhard C. Mihasko Angela G. Nies Julaisa M. Agalan Sydney Trina L. Pinyaranda Shane P. Riloya Rina May L. Sarif Nor Amida S. Jaycees Diamond. Andisa Jandrian E. Apiag Ethan B. Avancinia Gian Gabriel M. Balon Riz E. Buhari Saipola T. Borlado Earl Div N. Kapitin R. Aaron R. Kasya Olin D. Clarabal Mark T. Helika G. Nathaniel C. Makadato Abdol Madid C. Makalisang Arnel E. Madali Ferdaus D. Mamailaw Najib P. Mansaya Gian Renzo G. Nis S. Justin N. Sabadukya Emmanuel V. Sahabudi Muhammad Hamdami M. Salvador Jairin Lee A. Akuno Mikaela Joy C. Bunukan Joanna Rose N. Dakilos Ethel May A. Helika Alexa Rose L. Mainit Joanna D. Oliverio Kirstin Ives A. Sadon City and Sierra B. Delfavan Samantha Nicole B. Sumapi Kisya Kate O. Tabamu Lelebeth H. Tapun Crystal May R. Tondag Emerald R. Usman Hadel A. Rain 6 Ruby. Abdullah Norhasim B. Alderite Jan Morphy B. Amer Johamer C. Bakyu Z D. Basmayor Johnny Andre N. Elemento Jan Paul C. Gomez 
Jen Daly, join your seat. Laginda Akwain Musail B. Lambu Chicken Q. Lungai Saint Paul E. Mulina Rich Jones T. Mustor Janjaladen S. Palugon Owen B. Yamba Jumel E. Ramirez Richard Kim B. Sagmon Ruth Anthony B. Bilyasang John Benson C. Wagas Jason L. Abanil Izami B. Kanyete Regine A. Diploma Mohanepa L. Disoma Nahara N. Ilako Princess Althea C. Jelahani Sanea S. Lapos Glory P. S. Ligbas Ria Jane H. Limbo City Hajar D. Mamasaw City Aseya G. Patagok Arilin L. Simpruta Eden Mi E. Tagalog Arby May D. Tumambeling Ira P. Osman Osmaira R. Grade 6 Emerald. Abubakar Muhammad Hosni B. Alivio Mark Lee B. Amun Pon Philmark M. Assis David Bong A. Barakias Geno Kyle B. Bayabaw Muhammad Yasin P. Campo Evan Cres P. Lorca Giancarlo M. Magumna Abdul Warit D. Momar Norham N. Miss Justice Jules M. Paglinawan King R.D. Watt. Pangkuga Abdul Rashid H. Roka Clint John B. Samson Ryan Paul T. Subido Eugene D. Tayuni Kenneth A. Alivio Maricar V. Bunukan Nicole C. Kabuka Jenilen C. Kabuka Gria Jane C. Cortez 
Princess Chloe E. Hansel Priscilline C. Lagrada Janine J. Lumongo Hazel May C. Madid City Hanina M. Oriliana Teresa B. Shakur Chantil P. Umungan City Farhana M. Gracie Sapai. Balos Jerome Clefford B. Berizo J. Michael B. Caballero Nash O. Kalaya Shane Andre L. Kaluno Edmond B. Kami Aslim L. Snor L. Inigerables Earl R. Kumawan Jazz S. Lagos Neil Gabriel A. Lapin Christian D. Ligon BJ J. Sabalukia Yusef Illich D. Sarif Ismael T. Sulaiman Alexis M. Tugas Peter Colin P. Valiero 7 Kit L. Antinorio Fershana C. Balonquet Michelle P. Baros Mariel Joy T. Dele Vestri Charcoal Braille C. Buaya Jasmine Jane A. Diabil Mary Julian M. Estrada Valerie D. Lambo Riyame A. Lisondra Jana Elijah L. Lumolmo Sofia Carmel R. Kimo Nicolon R. Sanchez Charlie Jen Grisen A. Liguelo Maricar P. Liguelo Marimar P. Grade 6 Amethyst. Ansari Aliamin C. Del Rosario Giancarlo M. Doron Travis J. Encho Jr. Juni Jr. C. Gonzalez Edgar Joseph B. Hansol Mark Adrian C. 
Bigayan James Michael G. Makadatar Marjan C. Makadato King Johainor A. Magpatok Lebron James Iverson E. Mangkikis Angelo T. Papandayan Fayed D. Parok Mark Joshua D. Pasko Aldren T. Saidamen Abdul Kadir H. Teves Kenneth L. Tupas Lawrence T. Tupas Rocket T. Algar Kareel D. Alivio Trisha Arabella T. Angon Johaira H. Kabatingan Ira Mae G. Castillon Charmaine O. Daxla Aiza L. Desierto Angel T. Gabutan G. Kyle B. Kelior Shina S. Haji Ali Hania A. Obol Krishna Shine N. Rivera Rogina Zaybin Jean B. Talaid Janika L. To recognize the exemplary performance of these graduates, let us all witness the awardees for match 2020-2021 in alphabetical order. With high honors, Bukai City Fatma L. With honors, Abanil Niza Ray. Abdul Hamid Nusaer H. Ala Shaniha M. Adessa Chandrian E. Baros Mario Cho. Bohari Saifula T. Bonoka Nicole C. Orlando Earl Day. Clarabal Mark T. Cortez Princess Chloe E. Cosino Carl Ian. Daxla Isa L. Dayanville Mary Julian L. Degrasha Kanchana Kareel E. Desola Nahara L. Ensha Juni Jr. C. Gelior Sheena S. Giganto Sari Nicole G. Gomez Dimple Faye G. Haji Ali Hania. Lavinda Arkaid Mohaziel B. Lagos Neil Gabriel A. Laskai Chrysler L. Lumonhos 
Sophia Carmel R. Lopez Joseph Vincent B. Mainen Joina D. Masaya Ian Renzo J. Mehasco Angela G. Musor Chanchalani S. Aureliana Theresa B. Kimoy Nicole and R. Sakmon Roach Anthony B. Salvador Jairin Lee A. Somoza Zaski T. Tabamo Lilibeth H. Talain Janika L. Tubas Lawrence T. Tubas Rocket T. It is our pleasure to present to you Batch 2020. 2021 class representative. Let us now listen to the message of Siti Fatma Misalai Bukay. My warmest greetings to all. The coronavirus pandemic has caused many graduations to be replaced with virtual, driving, and other alternative ceremonies. And so, the tradition of I as the class representative addressing you my classmates at this huge moment in our young lives are a little different. But I hope that my speech will still reach you and be remembered either way. Today, as we move on from this place and embark on the next journey of our lives, I wish to give you three advices that may help us all in this journey. The first piece of advice I want to share to all of you is to always try new things and challenge yourself, even if you think it's a bad idea in the process. Always attempt to answer questions and solve problems. Find new ways to do the same task. The second lesson is simple. Be nice to people. No matter what their color, gender, religion, or standing in society, please be nice. Just sow the seeds of freedom. And a little respect truly does go a long way. It could even solve a few of the world's greatest problems, such as discrimination. Lastly, saying the words, I don't know, is powerful. The true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. And by admitting your ignorance, you are asking to learn more. Inevitably, I know that there will come a time I will encounter hard challenges or obstacles. And I hope that when I do, I will be able to remind myself to take pause and for enlightenment so that I might come back from the hard experience, knowing more than when I started. Due to the pandemic, I realized that learning should not stop. As they say, education is a treasure no one could ever take away. We can always find ways for education to continue and chase the learning modality that fit us. We all deserve to celebrate and be proud of ourselves. It may be upsetting that we won't have a traditional graduation ceremony, but we can't control the circumstances that we are facing today. However, what we can do is choose how we will respond to it as we take these next steps in life. The situation we are living through shows us how valuable everyone is in this society. The world is finally realizing the importance of the jobs of the frontliners, janitors, teachers, politicians, and more. Always show our gratitude to our parents, who sacrificed for us to continue our schooling. Always praise God for all the blessings and protection. Now, Although our time as kids has gone, I would like to remind everyone that we still have a long way to go with life. As we are all made up of our experiences and memories, 
All of the things we've been through make us who we are. And the best part is, we're not done yet. We'll continue to experience more and make memories. Every day which molds us to who we truly are and who we want ourselves to become. Remember, when one chapter of our life ends, another one begins. And we can write anything and everything we want to. So, what kind of experiences will you create for yourself? What kind of memories will you make? Whatever it is, let us all bring pride to our alma mater, to Mascabili Central School. Congratulations, Batch 2021! It is our great pride and honor to introduce to you our guest speaker for this virtual ceremony. Born on 11th of April 1997, second child of Mrs. Grace Bargashon, a Picolana, and Mr. Nelly Bargashon, a Sequana. He ventured lowly job opportunities which made his family transfer from Manila to Negros, settling in Iligan for the longest time. He achieved first honorable mention in elementary at Tomas Kabili Central School. He is the class valedictorian in Tomas Kabili National High School. Obtained bachelor's degree in Philippine Military Academy. Now a lieutenant, a platoon leader, and executive officer of Bravo Company, 54th Infantry Battalion, 503rd Brigade, 5IB, Philippine Army. Currently, his operational assignment is on a Joint Task Group Community Support Program in Baguio City with the PNP. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a resounding virtual applause. Our guest speaker, 2nd Lieutenant Jake O. Bargashon, NC, Philippine Army. To the vigorous faculty and staff of the school, headed by their esteemed school principal, Ms. Anna Maria S. Timogan, JD, Proud parents and diligent students of Tomas Kabili Central School virtually present. Ladies and gentlemen, isang pinagpala po na araw sa atin pong lahat. I am quite frankly overwhelmed by this invitation ng akin pong two former institutions. The other being is my high school, my Tomas Kabili National High School, to speak as the guest speaker of a similar event but of an equal footing. Nevertheless, to both, I share my sincerest gratitude and honor for inducting me this privilege of speaking as the commencement speaker to these accomplished young pupils to shed a little inspiration for them in their education years to come. As I recall, I graduated sometime 2009 po, testing uncharted waters for I was only a transferee when I was on grade 5. I was at that time given on a middle section na atong time na mo, forgive me for this generalization po, was in a way a section that were all kinds of stubborn. Evidently enough, my teacher at that time, Mrs. De La Calzada, which is still existing today, hello po ma'am, saw my potential on literary works and told me that I can compete along with other higher sections and through that, I managed to be at the first section a year later nung ako po naging grade 6 at naging top 3 po sa aming graduation why am I sharing this experience? well the foundation that I took in our humble institution had inspired me to believe in the wonders that I can do if I persevere to strive more and never settle for less the school had always been dear to me because this was the first institution that believed and trusted in my capabilities and I have been accomplishing breakthroughs because of this foundation. I share this experience because I believe that these students that we will be celebrating today are products of this trust and credence as they vigorously make their way into a higher grade for our kindergarten students and of course for our grade 6 
graduates. Ang kototohanan po dito, ladies and gentlemen, is that there will be quite more years to come before finishing your studies sa ating mga estudyante. But I assure you, dear students, that it will all be worthwhile in the end. Always remember that you are in a productive development and all of these form part of preparing you all towards a brighter future. Though, as of this time, we are experiencing a challenge due to the COVID-19 pandemic, I am certain that your institution, among other institutions, will continue to provide quality education through adaptability and resourcefulness of our dedicated teachers. As we continue to live with the standards of our current society, our cooperation and resiliency is much obligated now more than ever in order for schools to fully address their duties as institutions of learning. As I end my speech, I would like to extend my sincerest congratulations to all pupils of Tomas Kabili Central School for this proud achievement. Seize this moment and I am hoping for more wonderful opportunities and remarkable successes in soaring greater heights and conquering more steps towards the achievement of your dreams. Maokini ang inyong sinugdanan. Broadcasting virtually po from the City of Pines, Baguio City. Maraming maraming salamat po. And again, congratulations and my heartfelt felicitations to all the graduates. Let us now listen to the inspirational messages of the highly esteemed individuals from the Department of Education. No less than our original director, Arturo B. Bayogot, Seto and our Department of Education Secretary, Honorable Leonor Magdolis Briones. Isang maalab at matagumpay na araw po sa ating lahat. Mula dito sa amin sa kagawaran ng edukasyon sa Mihan ng Mindanao. Graduation, completion, or moving up ceremonies are testimonies of excellent coordination, genuine hard work, and great love. When the COVID-19 pandemic struck the world, hitting the various sectors including education, the Department of Education, through the competent leadership of Secretary Leonor Magtolis Briones, firmly accepted the challenge to continue education, bravely wrestling with the challenges of the pandemic and unceasingly finding solutions to address any emerging problems. Amidst all these difficulties, emerged excellent coordination across all levels of governance and the different stakeholders with the teachers at the forefront of delivering the basic education learning continuity plan. And here they are, our learners, who willingly submitted themselves to blended distance learning painstakingly learning the ways of the new learning landscape and successfully accomplishing all their academic requirements through genuine hard work. But these successes would not have been possible if not for the great love of the parents and guardians who have been selflessly offering their prayers, time, and resources. In other words, the successes of our learners, our teachers, our leaders, and the Department of Education at large, with the unwavering support of all our stakeholders, are products of our collective decision to succeed as one family. On behalf of the entire DepEd Region 10, allow me to thank and congratulate everyone for this great feat, which attests that DepEd indeed is on track. But just like what is said, in our theme for this year's end of school year rights, strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic. We need to be on our toes. The COVID-19 pandemic is real and so are other education emergencies. All together, let us rise from this pandemic, recalibrate our learning continuity plans 
and continue to deliver quality education for our learners. The heart of DepEd 10. Muli, binabati ko ang lahat ng nagtapos sa taong ito. Hangad namin ang inyong patuloy na tagumpay. Ano mang landas ang inyong tatahakin. Pagpalain nawa kayo ng poong may kapan. Marami pong salamat. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day. Wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education. 
even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at the time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. 
we would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for f further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. 
I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. May we take this opportunity to thank everyone who unselfishly cooperated and participated in any undertakings of this year's graduation and moving on virtual ceremonies. This has been Nikki Orel Aignon. Kudos and congratulations to Mashat's Batch 2020-2021.